Hello, Cancer viewers. Let's get into the reading. Whatever the cards want to say, just whatever comes out. Let's see what the current story is. As always, I'm also doing private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me at dragonenchantress at aol.com. That is right below in the description box. And if this resonates with you, please like the video, uh, share, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm again, get YouTube to promote my videos again. So I really appreciate any kind of engagement. Okay, we've got the Nine of Cups reversed, Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Devil. To me, it feels like there was some kind of stagnant energy, and I feel like you're coming out of that now. That's that's sort of the energy that I get. Because with the Nine of Cups reverse, it's, it's like you feel like your wishes aren't coming true. You feel like you're just not getting anywhere. Two of Pentacles is about juggling multiple things. So I feel like these two cards are connected. I feel like you you felt like your dreams weren't coming true because you were lacking a balance or because you just had too much on your plate. There might have been just a little bit of, I, I get like a mental confusion kind of energy. Like you you felt like you were on the verge of making these dreams manifest, but it, it's like there was some, some sort of imbalance where it's like you just didn't have the right tools you needed. This could be like trying to make a dream manifest, but you don't have the money for it. Or maybe trying to make love manifest, but you're just, you're not sure how to like get into that vibration, get to the alignment. Uh, let's see, but you're coming out of this. I feel like I feel like there is a breakthrough coming for you. I feel like there is some kind of shift coming. Page of Swords, the Devil, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody is struggling with patience and perseverance. Now, this could be you. This could be your person. I'm going to get more in depth into the reading. But with the Page of Swords and the Devil here, it just kind of, I kind of get the sense that maybe someone, someone told, uh, told you or told your person, maybe from a young age, that you manifest what you want by screwing over other people. Or you, it's, it's kind of like a kill or be killed mentality. It's like devil energy here. And I feel like that with a page of swords, I feel like it was some kind of communication where someone planted a seed in someone's head. Now, this could be, if it's not you, it could be your person. It could be like a mother or a father figure that just planted the seed in someone's head when they were a kid. That, you know, whatever it is, it's just some kind of negative belief. It could be like money doesn't grow on trees or, um, you know, you can't trust anybody or, you know, not everyone deserves love or not everyone gets love. It's just, it's some kind of thought that I feel like took hold in somebody's mind. And I, I feel like this has kind of grown into something that, you know, devil energy. This is actually holding someone back. And again, this could be you. This could, if this isn't your person, if this isn't a deep, deeper insight into your person, this could be you. This could be where it's like you're trying to manifest things and you're not understanding why things aren't manifesting but on a deeper subconscious level it, it's like you have these things that are holding you back you know what I mean like you have this energy that's holding you back this belief so with the seven of swords and the two of swords and we have the knight of wands and the eight of cups it's like someone's like completely torn between you know running away giving up on everything just saying screw it all and two of swords, you know, being patient, thinking about the future, finding that balance. Because um, it just seems like someone's kind of at a stalemate. Like someone doesn't really know what to do next. Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's like that's that fiery energy where someone just kind of wants to say screw everything and just run away and start a new life. I also feel like... Let me see. Is this a power struggle? Yeah, I'm asking the pendulum. Yes, I feel like this is a power struggle that someone might be in here. Take it. So there, so there's two ways I could take this. Like I said, this could be about you. This could just be a deeper insight into yourself, into subconscious patterns that might be blocking you from manifesting what you want. 
And it's basically saying to like do the shadow work, you know, be honest with yourself. Don't just run away. Don't be dishonest. Don't don't sabotage things like really stick it out. Be patient. Be grounded. Be be perseverant. Um, don't just this is somebody that's like very hot and cold. It's like they just kind of, you know, go on a whim but it, it's kind of like really, it's kind of saying to ground yourself and really think about who you are and what you genuinely want. For those of you that this is about your person, that this is about a relationship, I'm getting another message here. I'm feeling like, like this person is used to running. I feel like this person is used to sabotaging things. They're used to lying. They're used to cheating. They're used to escaping. And I almost feel like this person's it's like almost like they're at war with themselves over you because with the two of swords, they do want that long term, but they feel like they're at a stalemate. They, they don't know where to go next. You know, part of them, it's, it's someone who is hot and cold. So let's see. Four of wands, strength. The sun. These are all really positive cards. The moon. Oh, wow. The sun and the moon right together. That's really interesting. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. The Seven of Pentacles. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. The message I'm getting from this, I feel like somebody didn't take a can Ace of Swords and Ten of Cups. Okay, interesting. Six of Pentacles. Okay, let me see what I'm, let me confirm this, what I'm channeling. Yeah, what I'm feeling is that somebody did not take accountability in your connection. So I feel like this is a connection. I feel like maybe you guys got in a bad fight with somebody. Now, this could be a family member, friend. For a lot of you, this is probably an ex or probably, you know, someone that you have some kind of romantic connection with, someone from your past. But the energy I get is just that I feel like you were very different. I feel like they weren't used to someone like you. You might be very assertive or playful, adventurous, free-spirited. And I feel like they just, they weren't used to that energy. And it feels like you guys got in a lot of arguments. And I feel like in the present moment, I kind of feel like they blamed you for what went wrong. This does feel like somebody that you had a falling out with. Like I'm kind of getting that vibe where it was like there was there was miscommunication though. Like I feel like the falling out wasn't really necessary. I, I get this the sense that there is some kind of miscommunication between the two of you. And I feel like both of you were sort of just holding on to pride but you actually were, whatever this argument was about, I feel like you guys were actually on the same page, but I feel like you just come from very different backgrounds. There could be major religious differences. Um, just they, there's some kind of major, major, uh, either age or religion or some, something like that. It just feels like there's some kind of major difference in the way that you guys communicate, the way that you guys think. Could be different love languages even. But I'm just getting that, that you guys had some kind of argument. And this could have been quite a while ago. But it feels like there was, there was like a major miscommunication. Because you guys both had the same exact idea in mind. Or you both, you both were on the same page. But for some reason there was miscommunication. And you guys just didn't realize that you're actually both resonating with each other. Um, or that you're both, you know, that you both want the same things. I feel like this could be somebody who's very sensitive too, so they might have just taken something the wrong way. Um, for some of you, I feel like this person, like you said something to this person and they just kind of held on to that and they didn't really, they might have been passive aggressive about it. It could have been like a comment or something that you made and they were just passive aggressive, but they never really directly talked to you about it. They never fixed things. And I feel like this person is really in their head about this this argument, this mis miscommunication, I feel like that, I feel like when you guys had the argument, I feel like this person was in a much different mentality because I'm kind of getting like emperor energy, but like the toxic side of the emperor or like hierophant energy where it's like, you know, someone who's very traditional, but it can also be somebody who's very strict, somebody who is very prideful, you know, my, my way or the highway type of person, someone who just kind of has tunnel vision. They just, 
like yeah they they get things done but they're 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 not very open and creative you know what I mean like they're just kind of they, they have their set way of doing things and I feel like this person is changing. I mean, some of them are going through a psychic awakening, but others of them are are maybe not so much an awakening, but they're just they're changing. They're I feel like I feel like karma hit them for one thing, but I feel like there's also I feel like there might be someone I don't know why I'm getting like little sister, little brother energy. Um, it could be like a like a past life, like a soul family member, but I feel like there's someone in this person's life that's getting them to open up and have fun more, like someone's showing them a different perspective. I feel like when, when you were in this person's life, it's like they were just kind of, you know, they couldn't see outside of the box. They couldn't see multiple perspectives. But it feels like now this person is really opening their mind up. I feel like it just feels like childlike energy. So I don't know if maybe... It could be like an, I, I get like a very innocent, pure vibe. So it could be like an animal. It could be like a friend that just has like a very innocent, loving, supportive vibe to them. But whatever it is, I feel like someone or something is helping them open their mind up and see different perspectives and see, you know, different ways of being in the world because it really feels like this person is going back now and they're thinking about you know, arguments and miscommunication between you two. I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like there's one major argument that sticks out in their mind. And I feel like since they have this new perspective, they're they're realizing where they were wrong. They're realizing like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Like he or she might not have meant that. Or like, like they're un they have more empathy now, basically, is what I'm saying. So instead of just feeling, you know, victimized and attacked and, and just not taking responsibility, they're they're seeing their role. They're they're finally taking the accountability and they're seeing their role in the argument. And they're also seeing your perspective. They're realizing that maybe, you know, you were in a lot of pain or maybe you were um maybe you were going through something really intense. For some, I hear like maybe like a parental death or something like like you were going through it. Um, and so it's like you just in that moment, you might have said things that you didn't mean or there might have just been some kind of misunderstanding. And I feel like you guys are both kind of too prideful and stubborn to, to fix that misunderstanding. And it ended up sabotaging this. But but it does it does seem like they're yeah, like they're changing their perspective here. Let's see here. Because it feels like a truth has been revealed. Because I know the moon is often about like illusion, things that are hidden. But I honestly see the moon as a positive card because I, I feel like it's also... I feel like it, it's about intuition as well. And I feel like this person is having the strength because they know they want peace. They want stability. And so they're moving forward with the sun. This could also be somebody who's just making amends with people and they're... They're wanting to move forward with a with a clear conscience. They don't want people to hate them or people to see them a certain way. So there might be an apology coming in here. We have strength and the sun and then the moon. And then it's it's almost like there's some kind of hidden truth that's revealed. And I it's really interesting though, because I don't feel like I mean, for some, it could be like a friend or some third party telling them this truth. But I'm honestly getting that most of this is going on behind the scenes. Like, I feel like your spirit guides are telling them this truth or, you know, just their new their new perspective on things. They're looking back. They're looking back on old relationships, old friendships, and they're they're seeing their role in things. So it's so for for most of them, I feel like this is like an internal process where they're just really deep in their head right now. They're they're really doing a lot of soul searching, and I feel like they're gonna. They're, I feel like they're really thinking heavily about conversations you two have had, and they're they're coming to different conclusions. They're realizing they they might not have believed you before. It might have like in this conversation they might not have believed you or might not have trusted you. It just feels like whatever it was, it feels like they had tunnel vision. But it, it's it's like with the moon here. I feel like this, I feel like this is being, something's being revealed to them. They're doing, this to me is also shadow work. You know what I mean? Like if you look at her, male or female, but you know, like you see all these shadows, all this darkness around, it's like this person is, is finally, they can't really go forward without doing the shadow work. 
I kind of feel like this person, you know, like I said, they're doing soul searching and they want peace. They want strength. They want stability. They're trying to move forward. But then it's like this shadow work comes up to be done where it's like there's something that they have to go back and see first, basically. I feel like this person is wanting to reach out to you. They might start slowly by testing the waters, but I do get the sense that again more than anything I, I just feel like this it's just very internal like they're just they're really in their head they're really really you know replaying old conversations they're thinking about the pain that they caused you they're thinking about the interactions and they're just kind of realizing like hey it takes two to tango like they were acting like this for a reason you know this could be like a situation where like let's say that you got jealous over other girls or other guys all the time and they just thought you were like dramatic and crazy and now they're going back and they're like oh wait a minute I was always talking about my ex I was always you know liking all these other girls or guys pictures online I was always you know commenting that they were beautiful I was always um like comparing my person to other people like like they understand why you were jealous now they don't just think you were crazy but I think whatever it was before I think they did just dismiss you for a while where they're like you know this isn't my person or this is just all drama and now they're seeing your side of things they're seeing you know some of them had to go through it themselves to kind of understand how it feels like they they, they know, they understand how that feels now. They understand where you are coming from. So it's a really beautiful energy that they are opening their mind. They, and I feel like the Sun of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, it feels like they do want, they're, they're realizing that this, this relationship is going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort. You guys do have two very different communication styles or love languages. So they realize that it's not going to be easy, but it does look like they want to put the work in with the Three of Pentacles. They are wanting to build something here. So you might have an Ace of Swords, clarity, communication. You might have a message come in and this is a love message. This is a love message. I feel like for some of you, I just feel like this is somebody who's they're wanting to move forward with their life just in general. And so they're wanting to apologize to people from the past for things that they did. But I, I do feel the for the majority of you, I do feel this intention, though, of like actually building something with you of actually having something here. Because look at that ace of swords you know clarity communication ten of cups is like love family home it's like they're i think they're going to tell you that they want to build with you that they want that they're sorry for misunderstanding you or miscommunicating with you in the past they understand their role in the relationship they understand where they went wrong like they're they're stepping up and taking responsibility for themselves they understand how they sabotage things how they hurt you they understand it it you know, they, they get that now and they want to build with you. They want to rebuild that trust with you. They want balance, six of pentacles, mutual give and take. They want this relationship to be balanced. They want to put the hard work in to, you know, learn each other's different communication styles, to, to get on the same page, to let go of pride, to some of them are going to counseling because they do want to heal. They want to be better for you. King of cups, temperance, five of cups. I feel like in order to be the king of cups or the queen of cups, now this is somebody who's mature, who's open, who's, who's, um, just, just very emotionally stable and, and emotionally available with the temperance energy. I feel like they're finding that balance because I feel like they're, they're learning that they want to be this person, this king or queen of cups. I feel like before they were kind of a king or queen of swords type, like very logical, very intelligent, very strong minded. But, but again, very stuck in their ways, very stubborn, not really very creative, not really open to change, not open to other perspectives. And, and so it's really a beautiful thing that they are changing. They are opening their mind. They do have a lot more empathy now. And I feel like on a soul level, they are a king or queen of cups. But, to, to you know, they present, they've presented themselves in the past as a king or queen of swords, but I feel like this is who they really are. And I feel like this is who they want to be. They want to get back in touch with that emotional side of themselves, that, that passion. They want to find, you know, creativity and excitement for life again. And I think that they have this awareness that to do that, they need a balance with the temperance card here that they're going to have to let go of some certain things. So right now they might be cutting out family members, friends, um, old habits for, for some I'm hearing like drinking or drugs or gambling 
like just basically like they're letting go of anything that's keeping them from being this person so if they have like family members or friends that try to toughen them up and they're not really able to be vulnerable around them like they're not a safe space for them they're not able to be themselves around them i feel like they're they're you know cutting and clearing them they're letting go of you know, whoever and whatever is holding them back from being their true selves. Like, they only want people in their life that are going to support them. And again, if this isn't your person, this could be you for some of you. For some of you, this is your advice where it's like, make sure that you are around people that support your growth and support you being who you want to be. You know what I mean? If you're a sensitive, vulnerable, loving, like, weird, creative, just, like, free-spirited fairy type... Like, be that person, but you have to, like, it's good to be that person. The world needs more of that. But you also make sh have to make sure that you're around people that are supporting that. You know what I mean? Like, if you're around people who think that you're too weird or you're too out there or you're, you're too outspoken or too this or too that, or, you know, when you're emotional or vulnerable, they tell you to toughen up or they tell you the world's a hard place, get used to it. it it's like that's not an environment that you can grow in. You know what I mean? Like you can't really get very far around people like that. You can't really be your true self around people like that. So that could be a message for you too that maybe you need to let go of people, you know, family, friends, just whoever is holding you back from being the person you are and the person that you want to be. But, um, but yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is what your person's doing right now. They're finding that balance. They're letting go of what's no longer serving them. They're letting go of the people that are not resonating with who they are on a soul level. Yeah, and they're creating the life that they want. The time is now. The magician, page of wands, nine of pentacles. Yeah, they're reclaiming their power. They're, they're you know, someone here is, is, with the magician, it's like they're coming back into their power I feel like someone's been single long enough too with the nine of pentacles it's like they've experienced that they've been there done that so i feel like they're finally ready for love again they're finally ready to put themselves out there again queen of cups eight of pentacles judgment knight of pentacles for some, I feel like they studied you for a long time. I feel like they overanalyzed that conversation, that argument, like every little thing they said, they just overanalyzed it and they they try to figure it out on their all on their own. And now they're realizing, you know, when they come back around, you might make a judgment call and you might be like, hey, like you, like, yeah, I'm glad that you're finally, that you finally found yourself. I'm glad that you're more open-minded. I'm glad you've changed. But like, what took you so long? You know what I mean? And I feel like they're going to try to explain it and they're going to try to, you know, explain that they were, they were trying to figure things out on their own, but it's like they weren't, they were just going in circles basically. But, um, but yeah, it looks like someone is really leveling up here. It looks like somebody is really reclaiming their power and it, it comes from letting go of the toxic people that were holding them back. For some, this could be like a third party or someone that just did not want to see the two of you together, be it a family member or a friend. And it looks like, you know, this person is seeing that person's toxicity and they're wanting to let that go so that they can manifest what they want out of life. So anyway, it's a beautiful reading. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate your comments if this resonates with you because like I said, it gets me back in the algorithm, gets YouTube to promote my videos again. So thank you guys so much for watching.